we're going to start our sequence this week in Sukhasana. We're going to ground down through the shoulder blades. We have nice length in the spine. We're going to start laterally flexing the neck gently here to warm up. We're grounding down through the shoulder blades to keep nice length in the neck because if you don't do that, your whole shoulder blade just goes up. So that's important to do and we're going to start to roll forward here with the neck and then roll back because it's important to counter. You want to open the back and the front. As we warm up here, we're going to bring our attention to the breath. We're going to do alternate nostril breathing. So we have brought our index and our middle finger to our palm and we're plugging off one side. So we're closing the nostril with the pinky and the ring finger and we're inhaling and then we close off the opposite nostril with the thumb and we exhale. This balances the right and left sides of the brain. It's a, it's a really nice pranayama. And remember, we're breathing with the diaphragm. So the shoulders stay pretty much down. And we're going to inhale and expand the belly and the ribs. And as we exhale, they constrict. Remember to keep nice length in the neck. We're going to roll the shoulders down and back. Open the eyes. We're going to raise the arms up, and as we twist, we're going to exhale, hook on the knee. The back shoulder that is out of view is opening up. So the hand is on the mat there, and we're opening up that back shoulder, keeping length in the neck, so we're really pressing those shoulder blades away from the ears, and we're going to twist the other direction. We're grounding down through that knee that our hand is hooked on in the front. Keep nice length in the neck. We're going to cactus the arms here to gently open the chest and then laterally flex. We're grounding down through the seat there. So we're just starting to open the sides of the body. Kind of wake them up a little bit. We're going to send the arms back and then forward. Now we're reaching. So we're getting a little stretch in the rhomboid area between the shoulder blades. We're going to repeat and remember to switch the arms. And then we're going to pull the arms back, keeping the palms facing forward and stretch the neck a little bit more. Just a nice variation on the hands. Kind of changes this where you feel the stretch a little bit. Keeping the shoulders down again. So we get the most benefit if we're grounding down and using the appropriate muscles. We're going to come onto our backs here. We're going to come into knees to chest. So we're lengthening down through the tailbone or cossacks, all the way through the crown of the head, checking in with the full body before we bring the knees up and pull them into the chest. And then we're going to drop them to the side. And you have the option here to cactus the arms. If that feels nice, you can twist the head the opposite direction of the knees or straight up or the same direction, whatever feels comfortable. And you want to notice where you're feeling this. So, Typically, you're going to feel this in that QL, like the lower ribs into the hip. And if you, can, if you can breathe with this, it feels really nice and you'll be able to feel those ribs drop. Closer to the mat. So those ribs on this side are going to drop with each exhale. We're going to bring the knees back into the chest, spread the knees, and reach the arms through. So we're going to grab the outside edges of the feet with the hands, and then you're going to pull the feet down and press the feet up into the hands, coming into happy baby. And so we're stretching the adductors of the hips here, warming those up a little bit. And if it feels good to rock back and forth, that's an option. We're going to bring the bottoms of the feet together and then down onto the mat. So we're cactusing the arms here. That's an option. You can also bring a block or a bolster or blankets if needed underneath the knees for support. And 